so let's jump into it. Let's talk about the Seattle Mariners. I believe they died on Saturday or Sunday. Yep. Uh, their season is done. They are mathematically eliminated. A couple more games left for them to finish out um, in the year, but it, it doesn't matter because they're done. So let's talk about it. Let's go around the room. What kind of disappointed you the most about the 2017 season for your Seattle Mariners? Uh, well, I said it last week, Christian, but I'll say it again. The opportunity that they missed this year with the AL really only having four good teams, it was wide open all season long for the Mariners to take that other wild card spot, and it just never really materialized. They never never got over that 500 hump. I, I would agree with you. I do love that second wild card, though. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It creates a lot of hope for, like you said, teams that might not be that good. Um, DJ, what what are, what are you most disappointed in? Um, I think Seth brought up a good point about the whole AL was wide open this year, um, and it was disappointing because you know you really felt like we had a chance all the way up until the end, right? Um, until this very last weekend, um, I've heard the Seahawks. I mean, sorry, the Mariners be called a training camp team, something that just gets us to training camp, and you know they did their job uh, this <laughs> year. I would say the most disappointing thing is. Just all the injuries, the plethora of them, um, especially to the starting pitching. I really felt like we had a pretty strong um, starting staff heading into the season, but our depth was tested, and we, we did a fairly good job. But that was probably the most disappointing thing to me. Was I was really excited to see what the starting staff could do, and they did not live up to their expectations. I think I'll opinion. lean uh, your way in the what I'm most disappointed in. In February, I wrote something on my blog uh, entitled Pray for Pitching with the Seattle Mariners logo next to it. It was kind of predictable. On paper, really good starting five. Uh But with Felix Hernandez coming off an injury, James Paxton never proving to be healthy, Hisashi Iwakuma failing a physical when he was going to sign with the Dodgers two years or three years ago, whatever that was, and Giovanni Gardo at the end of his career. I mean, it... They were hyping him up. The, the PR staff at, in the Mariners organization were doing a great job of selling this Mariners staff uh, to a lot of different people, but it was almost, you know, unfortunately apparent mm-hmm. that they had the potential to struggle with injury or with performance, and uh, they struggled with both. Uh, we make the joke about uh, the Mariners dying uh, this last weekend. In my humble opinion, they died, and what I am most disappointed in uh, they died when they got swept by the Angels over Edgar Martinez weekend. Yes, I'd agree with that. Four game series at home, very much in the wild card race, and they lost four games to at the time. Not a lot of people believed in the Angels. They've made improvements to their team since then, and they're they're going to be right there in the hunt. Wasn't Trout even out that weekend? Trout, too? Uh, I don't know if he was out. I think he was just coming, coming back. Coming back might be what, where he was at off the DL. But you know. Safeco Field was packed mm-hmm. all weekend long, and that team went out there and stunk, and that was it. They they had a chance that weekend to prove that they were still going to be in this hunt, especially with everybody coming out to Safeco Field, and that, for me, I couldn't agree more, Christian, with that was the weekend that I kind of lost my hope. Um, football was right around the corner, right, and that could have been a reason to keep up with the Mariners, um, and so, I, I mean... That's that's perfectly what said. That's where I'm going with with where I am most disappointed mm-hmm. in this team. 